Hello everyone. I'm going to go ahead and do the July reading for fire signs. Now I'm going to start with Leo, then I'm going to go to Sagittarius and then Aries. So this is for the month of July, the energies that we're working with this month. And just to cover for everyone briefly, all the planetary transits we have going on right now, we are in the middle of eclipse season, which are really, really big deals. A lot of changes can happen in your lives during eclipse seasons. We had our um, new moon in Cancer, solar eclipse on July 2nd. And then on July 16th, we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So eclipse seasons are great for manifesting when there's a new moon solar eclipse. And the universe will also be bringing into you new opportunities to help align you with your purpose and your path. And then it will also be taking out um, things that are no longer serving you or things that are keeping you from your path or are a part of your path and part of your learning. So keeping that in mind, <clears throat> we also have Neptune in retrograde in Pisces right now. This is helping us ground more in our intuition. And then we have Mercury, which will be stationing retrograde on Sunday in Leo. And then after about a couple weeks, it will slide from Leo into Cancer, and then it'll then go direct and it'll remain in Cancer. So <clears throat> a lot of energy going on right now. We have the Sun in Cancer, and we have Venus that just recently entered Cancer as well. So a lot of watery energy, a lot of nurturing energy, a lot of intuitive energy. So I just wanted to kind of help prepare you guys for July. So starting with Leos, and I will put the timestamps in below uh, in the description if you want to jump ahead to your sign, okay? So what is going on with Leo this month? What are we working on? Hydrate, okay. This could literally mean drinking more water. <laughs> it could also mean just nurturing yourself, doing what's good for you. Yeah, sleep. Hydrating and getting some sleep. So rest, definitely a lot of rest I'm getting here, okay? Um, taking time out, do some healing. We are all, regardless of zodiac sign, we are all being put under a lot of pressure cosmically right now. We are really being challenged to move away from our logical, over-analytical processing brain and step into our intuitive, creative brain, the collective consciousness, the recognition that we are all connected and that our, our actions have impact and they matter and they matter to our surroundings. So we're really being put under a lot of cosmic pressure right now to wake up. And it's not easy. This is an easy pressure. So for Leos in particular, I'm also seeing just taking some time out, nourish yourself, get plenty of rest, okay, because this is heavy energy. And it's hard for us to realize sometimes because we think that nothing's going on outside of me that is super obvious, or maybe there is, but inner work is very jarring sometimes. There can be a lot of friction, so just taking time out, okay? We've also got trapped in fear, okay. Whoop. And solar plexus. All right, so what I'm getting with this is solar plexus is very much, you know, it's this, the root chakra or the root chakra, the chakra right, right below the rib cage, okay? And solar plexus is all about um, confidence. It's about worthiness. It's about, you know, self-worth, belonging, self-love. Um, it can relate to creativity as well. So with this chakra in particular, because Leos are the sign of self-expression and creativity, what I'm getting is maybe a lot of the heavy energy that we've been going through, not just currently, but the past month, the past couple months, maybe it's really been a challenge for you to be able to express yourself and you're trapped in fear. You're afraid to express yourself or you're afraid of judgment, or perhaps you have expressed yourself in ways that people just weren't receptive to and we're having to learn to readjust our communication modality, okay? So letting go of fear and trying to let go of the past and do whatever healing you need to do, confronting whatever demons are rearing their ugly head right now because they're only there to teach you and to help you grow. So kind of facing those and working through them. This is very much something that we're all working through right now in July is just taking time out to rest, to recuperate. Um, wow, I didn't even just notice till now. We have three here and this is a three, so three, three, three. Cosmic master numbers, three, three, three. Um, definitely a, a numbers of creativity, of 
foundations in spirit, mind, body, spirit, integrating mind, body, spirit. Okay. Let me get another card for Leo. Emotional withdrawal. Yeah, we've got threes and eights for you guys. Eights are usually a number of expansion, of broadening our horizons, but it's also the next number after eight is nine. Nine is very much a number of completion. So with eight comes kind of an elimination of what's no longer working so that we can reach that completion stage. So it's kind of like a, like a come to Jesus moment. It's like a reckoning. Eights can definitely feel like a reckoning, like, okay, it comes like right to your face, what is no longer working and what needs to be shifted or changed. So I feel like Leos are being confronted with that right now, which makes sense because, you know, August or end of July starts Leo season and you want to be primed and ready for your season, right? Ready to go, ready to hit the ground running, ready to start new creative projects or, or deepen ones that you've been working on. So July is very much about removing these blocks and barriers and getting the necessary rest so that when your season hits, you'll be ready to go. So doing whatever meditation, emotional work, emotional healing you need to do, and just evaluating your thoughts and your perceptions and your belief systems that may be holding you back, okay? Letting go of those fears. Let me just get a love card for y'all to close out. Leo, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Oh, I love this card so much. It's so pretty. Gosh, I love art. Okay, so this is definitely all about, you know, dreaming for the future. So getting clear, hydrating, nourishing yourself, and clearing out that energy, doing the healing work that you need to do, letting go of those fears so that when your season comes and it's Leo season, you're going to be ready. Okay, that is Leo. Let me move on. Sagittarius. What do we've got going on for Sagittarius in July? Guardian. Okay. What is this about? Modify. Let me get one more. Growth. Okay. So what I'm getting with this. I'm almost getting like a protective energy here with guardian and growth. So definitely an expansive time for you with Mercury going retrograde into Leo can definitely give a lot of you Sagittarians out there an opportunity to grow and expand your horizons because it is another fire sign and following your impulses and your gut feelings because again mercury retrograde no matter what sign it's in it's all about kind of muting the left brain logical over analytical brain and stepping more into intuition and intuition is not just associated with the water element so like pisces scorpio and cancer it's also associated with the fire element right intuition is more empathic compassionate and fire intuition is more like urges and impulses and inspiration right the urge to just do something that comes out of nowhere okay so both are very you know associated with intuition not just those um as well i mean air and, and earth are also intuitive but fire and water in particular are really highly intuitive so growth and being more protective like protective of what you care about protective over your loved ones um, this is a message I also got with cancers because all the other zodiac signs are really going through some tough stuff right now. The cosmic energy is just very out of their element, right? People are just feeling very off balance. And so I'm seeing here cancers in particular because we're in cancer season, but also Sagittarius, maybe because you're the philosophers and you're the wise, wise, caring teachers of the zodiac to kind of look out for people now because they're going to be having a hard time. Just be counselors for them, you know, be a shoulder to lean on with healthy boundaries if you feel like you're able to do that and don't just do that for anyone, but kind of supporting, being a support system is what I'm seeing. So, you know, recognizing that other people are going to be going through some changes, being patient, being patient with people, allowing them to go through whatever crises they may be going through and just, again, being that kind of rock, that support system for people that you care about, being the guardian. Okay, and also open to uh, growth opportunities. Let me just pull a few tarot cards here. Okay, so I have conflict and defeat. So what I'm also seeing here is maybe 
maybe we have gone through some growth recently. I mean, obviously, if you're a Sagittarius, you've gone through growth recently because we have Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth and good luck and good fortune and opportunities has been in the sign of Sagittarius since December of last year. It will be there until December of this year. So I don't care who you are or where you live. If you're a Sagittarius, you've gone through some growth this year. Okay. And so maybe not all the growth was positive. Maybe some of it was a little rough. Maybe some of the growth was forced growth by the universe. You know, if you weren't listening or picking up on the signs, maybe some doors were just kind of slammed to keep you moving in the right direction. So part of what I'm also getting from this, you know, guardian and conflict and defeat is just taking some time out, taking a breather, recognize, you know, try not to take it personally, recognize it as a part of your growth and maybe doing your own self-protection, right? Protecting yourself from outside influences that maybe aren't positive for you right now as you kind of focus on your growth opportunities and moving forward, cutting out some of the negative toxic people, okay? It doesn't mean you don't care about them. It doesn't mean you don't send them love and wish them well because that is what it means to be a spiritual being. You always send everyone love and you wish them well, but you can do it from a distance without having to talk to them, okay? <clears throat> Third eye chakra. So July is going to be a bit of an awakening for many Sagittarians out there. There may be some spiritual awakening. There may be some intuitive insight that you'll receive, intuitive guidance. You may connect with your guides this month. So being open to spiritual guidance is what I'm seeing here. Again, because I've got guardian, I just I feel like... You guys are being primed for leadership. You're being primed for some kind of important cosmic role. And so July is the time for you to get ready for that. Just as Leos are getting ready to shine because their time of year is coming. I'm just seeing Jupiter is on your side right now. Jupiter is backing up all the Sagittarians this year. And that's for a reason. You're being primed for leadership. You're being primed to step into a role as a perhaps spiritual guide for people or just a guide and teacher for those you love and care about, okay? fertility and this is also a sign of creativity so you know and this is three three we have six here oh gosh all these cosmic numbers 44 we have a lot of master numbers coming through 44 is definitely a builder a builder number an angel number all about building building strong foundations okay so creativity and, and partaking in whatever opportunities are being thrown your way because there's probably being thrown a lot and make this the year of surrender where not to say that you don't question opportunities because you do want to have some discernment, but recognize that the universe is trying to flow through you. It is trying to bring you abundance and expansion, opportunities for growth. And so just kind of going with the flow and just embracing whatever comes your way, unless it feels wrong, if it feels just really wrong, then obviously don't do it. But if it feels scary, that's different. Okay. Just step into surrender this year because there's a lot of opportunities for growth. Let me pull the love card to close out the message for you, Sagittarians. Rest and relaxation is essential. So, yes, yeah, so this is a message that's coming through for everybody. Just taking time out in July, spend time with those you care about, do activities that are nurturing for you, and processing all the change and growth that you've gone through because it's been a lot, <clears throat> okay? Taking time to process it. And then get ready because you're being primed for leadership. So getting ready to receive whatever the universe wants to send your way. Okay? That is Sagittarius. And then we've got Aries. <clears throat> All right, Aries, what do we have going on for you in July? Ooh. Love it. <clears throat> vibration. Focusing on your vibration. Focusing on your energy. Focusing on what your intentions are behind your actions. So even if your actions may seem positive, focusing on the intention behind them. Are we <clears throat> intending positive things because we want recognition, because we want validation, because we want attention? Those are not high vibrational intentions. So having your intention be growth risk-taking, leadership, service to others, right? <clears throat> so focusing on your intention and focusing on the food that you're eating is the food that you're eating of a high vibration, just really focusing on raising your vibration right now. Again, because Leo season is coming soon and that is a great season for all you fire signs to shine. It is definitely your element. So preparing for 
Leo season to hit the ground running, we have to focus on our vibration right now, okay? <clears throat> and possibly keeping our ego in check because we have Mercury stationing retrograde and a fire sign on Sunday. All of you fire signs are going to feel a challenge to your ego. You're going to feel a little bit more combative because it's going to be very confusing. Your mind is going to feel like off. It's going to be foggy. And so any impulse to want to pick a fight or say what you really feel, even if it might hurt someone's feelings, it's going to be stronger now. So just focusing on your vibration, doing some meditation, and trying to just think about the intentions behind your actions, okay? I've also got hidden blessings. So there will be some hidden blessings coming your way. Uh, let me get a card for what hidden blessings we may have. Accelerated motion. Okay, hidden blessings and accelerated motion. So there are definitely going to be some opportunities thrown your way. There's going to be some momentum that you'll be gaining in Cancer. So far of all the signs I've done, it seems like Aries is going to be pretty active in Cancer. A lot of other signs are going to be taking more time out to rest. Not to say that you guys won't be doing that, but I'm seeing that you'll be activated probably because Mars is in Aries. Leo, just kidding. Mars is in Leo right now, so that could be part of the reason why Aries is going to be super activated. But I see there's going to be some momentum gained in July so getting ready for that and being prepared for whatever hidden blessings are coming your way and I've got positive minded people and again this goes along with vibration so part of maintaining and and uh, maintaining the hygiene of our vibration is being mindful of who we're surrounding ourselves with right our environment the company that we're keeping is very important you may really really adore someone but if there's someone that is just always complaining if they're just always dragging you down if they just always see a glass half empty it's gonna drag you down doesn't mean you can't still have those people in your life but maybe putting more of a distance there and just focusing on your own energy right now okay it's gonna be very important for you guys recognition and reward okay let me see what they want to say about this awareness <clears throat> okay so with this i do have being mindful of the ego again this is mercury retrograde in leo so all you fire signs um, but leo and aries in particular being mindful of the need to receive attention just because right rather than setting an intention to serve others or to help people and then have recognition reward be the natural byproduct right because we want our intention to be to help people and then receive recognition as a bonus rather than i'm going to help people because i want to receive recognition because this can bring negative kickbacks this can cause negative karma so just being aware keeping our ego in check and being mindful of our intentions so awareness, just practicing awareness of what it is that you're creating, how your words and actions are affecting people, because you have a lot of power and a lot of influence. People are naturally drawn to Aries, to your confidence, and recognize that that is a power that you have, even if you're not intending to do anything, just by being yourself. You are a charismatic leader and people will be drawn to you. So just being mindful is what I'm seeing this month, okay? Let me close out with choose love choose love okay so this is very much in line with maintaining your vibration okay and just being aware of the intentions behind your actions and making sure that's always coming from a place of love okay it doesn't mean you can't set healthy boundaries it doesn't mean you don't tell people when they violated a boundary or when they've hurt your feelings or when they've you know done something wrong but making sure you're always coming from a place of love when you do so not making about right and wrong you know enemy or victim just being aware of your vibration okay because it's all part of your spiritual growth and it's a part of the karma that you create so be mindful of the kind of karma that you want to create okay so that is fire signs for july hope you guys enjoyed that reading and i'll talk to y'all soon bye